Oh, right, I forgot. No, uh, <laughs> title screen. Kinda let that one slip me by. Come on, go down. Thank you. Fucking hell. Oh. Uh, too far down. Wait. Oh, God, my chair. Need to go a little bit down, damn it. Hello there, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Hi, how nice of them. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Uh, let me move my chair a little bit. Hi. Hi, it's happening to me now. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. It's at times play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm this idiot. Yo, what the hell? Yeah, welcome to Shining Pearl. Poketamonsta, Shining Pearl. That's true. Okay, so you're Shadow. A fine name, that is. I'm just waiting before I can just... If he's your friend, what might his name be? Uh... What a, what a Clint! His name is Barry. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Why not? Uh... No! What? <laughs> No, but I, come on, dude. All right, give me, give me one second. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to find out. That's how you go for P A A. Manga, bitch. Yeah, Pearl is the name. I noticed already. Okay, we have gone through this, and I'll go through this another time. Like when I do another Pokemon game. I just need to get that stack speed up to max. Despite the racing team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly, even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Same for these videos. But then next week becomes tomorrow. Uh, anyway, welcome to Pokemon Shining Pearl. I'm just going to text window until I found one that I like. Where's one that I like? Yeah, this one. <laughs> uh, sent the box manually. Give nicknames. Yeah. I'll give everyone a fucking nickname. Why not? I'll go with that one then. All right, and so the Pokemon Shining Pearl. Um, I know I said I was never gonna buy this game, and I actually wasn't. But um, let me just go over here then. Uh, I wanted to buy this game, which I will do the Let's Play off in the future, probably, maybe, potentially, unless I, you know, die. At which point, it's kind of impossible for me to do a Let's Play of this game. But uh, yeah, or I don't know, my channel gets taken down. YouTube gets sick of my stupid shit and just cancels me completely. Anyway, but uh, when I was searching up this game, I actually found um, Puma Shining Pearl. Uh, and that, I, it's actually kind of funny, because this game came out like, what, like uh, four months ago or something like that? By the time of recording this, it's already March, so it's like November, it's like December, January, February, March. like four months ago or something like that, this game came out. And it was already, uh, like, I bought a used version that was... Uh, 40 bucks. Yeah. Four months after release. Dude, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl is still like 40 bucks. And that's full price. Okay, just keep that in mind. So that technically, they would be classified as 60 bucks. So this shit would be like 30 bucks. I think that's how I can. Or like 25 bucks. That's kind of like how you need to kind of like calculate it. Where it's like this game would be 25 euros. However, but it's 40 euros, I know, but... Anyway, it was a used version, so technically, first of all, I am not supporting the Pokemon Company. And second of all, it's all because they didn't fucking add support for home. Because I need a Pokemon that's only found in this stupid game. 
Uh, because I wanted, I was thinking of doing like a new let's play of the game. Uh, not a let's play, but like just play it on my own. Because I talked about it at the end of Burning Diamond. Let me get background music. <laughs> nice background music. Anyway, I talked about it at the end of Burning Diamond, I think. Yeah, I'm actually gonna fucking... I'll put the fucking sounds back to normal. But anyway, um, I was actually gonna... Thinking of, um... Like, replaying Pokemon Burning Diamond, which I talked about in Burning Diamond, where I was gonna play it. But I'm just gonna use six Pokemon, see what my end team, uh, like, what, what my, uh, team would be. Well, not what my team would be, I know what my team would be, but, uh, what level they would be. But when I saw this game for 40 bucks, I was like, I mean, it's used, it's 40 bucks. Which is also a bad sign for Pokemon in general. These fucking games never lower in price. Can I use the PC? Oh, God. Can't even run. But yeah, so I decided to just buy it. So it's like, I mean, Pokemon Re uh, Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Deluxe, funny enough, is actually 50 euros. Used, by the way, a used version of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Deluxe is 50 euros. Fucker came out like two years ago. This game, that came out four months ago, is 40 euros. Keep that in mind, people. This is just, <laughs> this is insane, actually. This is actually pretty funny. So yeah, now we're in the let's play. We're just using six Pokemon. However, I was actually I had my team planned out. Shadow Pearl came calling for you a while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Uh, but I had my pl uh, basically I had everything planned out. Oh yeah, Shadow, don't go into tall grass. Well, Pokemon might attack you. It will be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So uh, try to survive out there. Hey, 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 I saw that. Don't. Don't. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Turn off now. I'm, I don't do autosave. I don't care what you say. I'm not autosave. Shit. But anyway, I was, uh... But yeah, but that, I mean, that actually does say something. So yeah, but, um... Also, wait. I was talking about my team. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of got lost because my mom just interrupted me. Anyway... I had my team planned, like all six of the damn bastards that I'm gonna use in this game, I planned. And then I looked at the, at the move set, and I found one Pokemon who can't learn Foresight anymore. I was like, what? You, uh, feeling okay, buddy? What do you mean you can't learn Foresight? Turns out that move was removed in Generation 8, and it was like, but I need that for Spirit Doom, no! <laughs> I actually like last week I was when I was sick because last week I was sick um, I don't know if I had corona maybe I did maybe I didn't who knows you know it's fun to speculate on who had what uh, but I was just like you know spirit doom is a Pokemon one of the two dumb idiots that have no weaknesses in generation 4 I mean now they do because fairy does exist and fairy is like yeah no I am going to kick your ass but um, Spirit Tomb and Sableye are the two Pokemon that don't have any weaknesses. And I was like, okay. But there's gotta be a way to kind of like take them out. And I was like, wait, they're Ghost and Dark. If I use Foresight, I can attack them with fighting type moves and they will be super effective. And then I was like, oh my god, that's a plan. I want to put that into motion. Then I saw Shining Pearl for this price and I was like, I'm buying that. I actually got this game like last week. Uh, but, um, I was like, I'm buying Shiny Pearl. And then I was like, wait a minute. So, yeah, I, I looked it up. I looked at the Pokemon that I want. I was just scrolling down. I was like, um, friend? Where's Foresight? I was like, oh, okay, maybe, you know, maybe the pre-evolution can learn it. So I clicked on the pre-evolution. I scrolled and was like, where is it? Where the fuck is it? I'm not joking, where is it? This is not even funny anymore. Turns out, there's an Gen 8. So, uh, yeah, that's funny. So, I'm actually gonna use one Pokemon that's gonna be different, but also the same from Br uh, Brilliant Diamond. Which I didn't want to do. I kinda wanted to make this team... I think it will be entirely new Pokemon that I didn't use in Brilliant Diamond. I think the entire team will actually be new, because in Brilliant Diamond I didn't use, like, my team. In that sense, like a mainstay, I use like shit like a bomber snow. But now, 
I got it down. I know exactly what I'm gonna use. Except for one Pokemon who was supposed to be someone else, and I, when I catch that Pokemon, I will tell you exactly who I was actually gonna use. Actually, now that I think about it, that idiot can't learn a move because move tutors don't exist, so it's like, eh, I'm not missing much. Dud. What's that about? Oh, hey, Shadow. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, I'm finding you one million if you're late. Is it just me or does the tech speed still feel slow? It feels like the same tech speed as like the other game. Oh jeez, forgot something. One idiot. How about we explore this town actually? Talk to some people. You! Fat man! Technology just blows me away! I think I made that joke in Burning Dam as well. I mean, now we can play with people around the world. Actually, you know what? I think I talked to everyone in Burning Dam, so this is gonna be kind of like a quicker one. Because I don't really care that much, so I'm just gonna go through it. Oi! Hey, right, you're looking for Pearl, he was gone for somebody came back, it just can't sit still that boy, I wonder who he takes after his dad. You look like you're stoned out of your mind, so this is dad. Better take my bag and guidebook too. Nani! Oh hey Shadow, we're going to the lake, I'll be waiting on the road to 10 million fine if you're late, my god, he increased it 10 times. Jesus. Um, also, like, uh, YouTube deleted a video from me because I actually said something that was not right. I was talking about Corona, and I said something that apparently YouTube was like, no. Even though I did say, like, what I said was true. It wasn't fake information. And it was never meant to, like, discourage people from, like, taking the vaccine back then. But yeah, I, w I never meant for anyone to be discouraged of taking the vaccine. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I got the vaccine and the booster shot. Technically, personally, for myself, I kind of regret taking the booster shot. But that's only because of the fact that nowadays it doesn't necessarily matter. Because here in the Netherlands, YouTube, listen very carefully. Here in the ne Netherlands, the booster is pointless. In that sense. Because, like, right now, everything has been basically opened up. You don't need the booster for anything. I mean, it will still help you. But for me personally, I don't really care about myself. So I wouldn't take it. But if you want to, you should. I swear to God, YouTube. Don't misread my fucking words anymore, okay? I'm not I'm not against I'm not spreading misinformation. What I'm saying is true. Look it up. Look it up, okay? Don't give me this bullshit. Look it up. The fucking uh COVID mandates are gone. They're all gone, okay? They're all fucking gone. So yeah, this part might be cut down a little bit, just like in Mass Effect, but yeah. I mean, at least I was able to, like, I actually wasn't doing anything, I was just talking about something, and then I, the, the cut happens, but it's like, I was kind of like being like this. I was standing still, doing nothing, so I didn't continue on with the game, so I didn't miss anything important. I swear to God, let me run, it's so slow, why? Yeah. Search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the ferocious Pokemon in the lake! Got me thinking, I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. You know what we're gonna do? We'll find out a Pokemon like that. Oh my god, this still looks so fucking dumb. Oh my god, this ge Dude, these games are trash, no matter how you look at it. And with this game, I actually didn't support the Game Freak or the Pokemon Company because I bought a used version, which means they get none of the money. And I do support the site, actually, that I bought it from, so... There you go. What's going on? Professor, isn't there anything, uh... Th there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side, either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine. It's enough that we have... That we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? This is actually kind of like... Wow, I just... This actually just clicked with me. This game came out four years after Generation 3. <laughs> I didn't even re... It must be exciting and I never knew this. I never knew this, dude. I, it just clicked with me. You did that for four years. Four years later, we get Diamond Pearl. <laughs> Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many kinds of rare Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in the regard to our studies. But yeah, by the way, the thing I said about COVID was actually the thing that YouTube didn't like. Because I cut that out, re-uploaded the video, and then YouTube was like, I'd fine. 
Initially, I was gonna mute it, but it was like, I was just looking at it, I was like, I'm just standing still. No one's gonna fucking enjoy that. I'm just gonna call it a day. I would've muted it if I was actually doing some fucking game shit, but I'm just standing there talking. Excuse me, let us pass, please. If we must. I beg your partner, we'll be on our way. Yeah, okay, bye. Oh no, they forgot. I actually do like this opening more than in Platinum. Not gonna lie. Not in this game. Like, in, even in the original Diamond and Pearl, where they connected more towards... Um... Fuck was that game called? Uh... The, the Generation 2, where this game takes place kind of around the same time. This game starts, like, I would say after the Red Gyarados incident in, uh... Mahogany Town. So I like that connectivity, uh, connection, but they didn't fucking do that in Platinum. They took that out and replaced it with Professor Rowan is back in Sinnoh. And it's like, why did you do that? I also like how you get your starter Pokemon here. Professor Rowan is just like, oh, hey, uh, we're gonna give you a fucking starter Pokemon. Oh my god. We forgot it. What are we supposed to do with it? We could try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor? Oh god, it's a ferocious starly. What's, what's going on? Alright, we got three lads here. Alright, what kind of Pokemon do I want? <laughs> yeah, I'm picking Turtwig. <laughs> the hell do you think? I'm picking th Turtwig, I don't care, dude. Get the hell out of here, Starly. I don't kick your ass. Leave. Turtwig, go! Yes, you're not female. Good, thank you. Holy shit, I was scared you were gonna be female. Get him, Turtwig. Oh, my boy in 3D on the Switch. It's been so long. My boy. Dude. Do you have any idea how good this makes me feel? Because that stupid shit wasn't in. Also, by the way, this is gonna be uploaded way later. Your turtle was totally rock, but my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon. Anyway, the thing is also is that I'm playing this game right now just because I need to get Mystery Gift. Because at the end of this month, um, uh, I'm also not really going to fully read the dialogue because I don't really care. If you want to get the full LP, watch Burning Diamond. This is more like kind of like just a test also. But anyway, um, at the end of this month, at the end of March, well not this month because this might be uploaded in fucking ja January of 2025 for all I know. Anyway, um, at the end of March is when the uh, Shaman event ends. Um, and uh, in April the Darkrai event will begin, but I need Mystery Gift to access it. Now the thing is that in this game, after you get the third badge, you can get uh, Mystery Gift. However... However, you can already get it at the Jubilife place if you t type in something. So I'm, I need to like get there. And I kind of need to get there a bit faster. So we're just going to speed run through this shit. Maybe then afterwards I'll be able to normally play this game. I play this game from time to time and that sends in the background. I also need to go back to Legends Arceus. I've been, s dude, I've, been, I've been slacking on that game so much. I think I'm also trying to do too much with that game. Maybe I should just complete the Pokedex call today. Because... This game actually allows you to obtain the Azure Flute. However, you need to have a completed save file of Pokemon Legends Arceus. The way that Serebii phrases it is you need to go and... Uh, beat the main story missions. Of... Like, all the main missions of Pokemon... Um... Oh, fucking hell. Where is it? Alright. This update adds the Hall of Origin event. If you have completed... All missions in Pokemon Legends Arceus that captured Dialga or Palkia, got the national decks, and defeated the Elite Four in this game. You will get the Azure Flute in your room in Twin Leaf Town. This allows you to, act, uh, to go to Spear Pillar, exit the Hall of Origin, and to battle Arceus. The Arceus can, it may not, probably won't, but it can be shiny. The GWS also is now available in Jubilee City. This allows player to wander trade globally over the internet. I can fucking want to trade now. Oh my goodness. Why did that take so fucking long? Also, this is going to be an hour video because of course it is. We actually need to get some things on my chest. 
I really need to figure out like a record schedule for myself because this is just insane. Oh god, I can run. Oh my god, I can run. Oh my god, I can run. Oh, I can feel the wind in my hair because I'm still not wearing my fucking hat. I work at the Pokemon. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get it. Um, but, um, yeah. I just need to get find a recording schedule because I've been really lazy on the recording and how the fuck did I not even run into a singular Pokemon back there? I'm confused. But yeah, my, my recording uh, has been completely fucked. Funny enough, I've actually been watching like uh, a lot of like GTA RP streams that someone uploaded onto YouTube from Uberx Nova. His entire, like I'm watching like the journey of Sis Volker, like the entirety of it and my god it's a lot dude. I got like six videos in, but each video is like 11 hours long or some shit like that. So uh, that's some insanity right there. But I'm enjoying it, man. Cause like I saw like his videos about like uh, Sis Volker, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna even get a fucking nickname. I was about to say the nickname, but then I stopped myself and called the fucking third wake. But no, the best nickname anyone could ever think of for this bad boy is Leaf Quake. Because it's a grass and ground type. Yeah. It's Leaf Quake. Now, um, I will tell you this. After this, nicknames will go downhill. That's for damn sure. And uh, your nicknames will just go downhill. By the way, this is not a speed run. This is just a regular ass playthrough like I would normally do. But right now, I just don't really feel like going through this because I actually need to get to Jubilife City fast and I need to get into the Jubilife TV building and I, don't, I actually don't know when I can. I don't know if I need my first badge now I think about it. The potential does exist that I need my first badge to get that. And I don't like that. Also, give me one second here, Don. I need to look my Pokemon up. Because I know... I. I I was just thinking about a singular Pokemon I'm gonna catch, and I need to know that this dumb shit has a different ability. Nope, singular ability, that's good. You know what? I do love this music. Oh, such good music. I need to buy some Pokeballs right now. All of them, by the way. I thought you said you were only going to use six. Yeah, but you'll get, you'll get it, right? Oh, shit. I actually don't know how this works. I don't know that if I... I'm actually going to test something out here. Yeah, I do get it. Wow, sweet. No! I won't give me premier balls, you bitch. I think four premier balls is good enough. Also, I got way more money than I would in the other game. Get back. Give me my fucking 4K back, you bitch. Alright, time to go home. Tell mama about our adventures. Hello, friend! How are you doing today? Uh, Leaf Quake, stand by for battle. I don't care. See what happens. I'ma catch you. Now I got four Premier Balls. I am not losing these four Premier Balls. Also, I think the music is a little bit loud. I just looked at the fucking screen and it was like, yeah. Yeah, I fucking dare you. You're level 2. Dare you to pop out. I actually don't know what the sound setting was for my... Uh... Yeah, I'm a Starly. Good old. I told you the fucking uh, nicknames were gonna go downhill. Because it's Raptor. The other nickname I was thinking of was Star. You yeah, know, what if I just lower it to 6 for now?
There we go. Got our first Pokemon. Yay. Mom, I got some amazing news. I caught a Pokemon. Look at this. Look at this. I caught a Starly. And I have a Turtwig as well. I got Raptor and Leafquake. What's up, Shadow? I see there's something that big. Oh, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Shadow. I got something that you'll find useful. I probably won't find it that useful. I probably won't. I actually need to search up a type on Cerebi right now, because... I need to see if there are any other Pokemon in this stupid game that I could actually catch. Ah, I could catch you. No. Actually, there's not a single other Pokemon because I need that dual type that this idiot is. So I, I'm actually fucked. But I also don't know if I can because this Pokemon kind of sucks to get. And I hate it. I hate to get it. Like, I don't hate the Pokemon. I just don't like getting it. Alright, bye, Ma. Perfect. Ah! Yes, I obtained the Hat of Hattening. Also, um, when can I do the other dumbass? You. When can I get you? Is there a way for me to get you in the grand underground, I guess? Hmm. Elsewhere, what? Ooh, I could get you immediately. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Ma. Bye. Alright, our journey shall now commence. You did heal my Pokemon, didn't you? Yeah. No. What's wrong with you? Don't look like that. Can I can I change my pose? I can't. Fuck. I also spent half my money on fucking uh, Premier Balls <laughs> that I'm gonna sell right now, actually. Because I don't need those anymore. I'm gonna catch every Pokemon in this fucking game in a different type of Pokeball, except for one. But that isn't my choice. I actually get that one. I don't really catch it, so. Any Pokemon I catch will be in a different Pokeball. My god, 300 bucks. That's nothing. I'm so poor. <laughs> Why am I so poor? It's hard being poor. Yeah. Also, funny enough, I actually do enjoy this game. I know I shouldn't. But I do. Maybe I should like, grind up my uh, friend. The uh, Starly that I have on my party. Maybe I should grind up Starly. <laughs> Don actually has Piplup now, that's cool. Ah, oh, man. Sin always fucked me up, because I'm always like, Barry needs to have Empoleon, but Don needs to have Piplup, so. It annoys me. To my very core. I'm gonna tweet out some of my videos. Because I do that kind of shit. Just to try and spread the word. Well, this catching tutorial is happening. Oh my god, I've been doing this for 20 minutes since I started that video. Video's done. Uh, but, um, yeah. yeah. I tweet out my fucking videos because I'm like, eh, fuck it, who cares? <laughs> this is part 35 of Mass Effect Andromeda. Give me Iridium! With like 15 explanation marks. Holy crap. Oh, uh, yeah, I really wanted that Iridium in Mass Effect Andromeda, though. Couldn't find it, though. That sucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, find, find it funny. Give me Iridium! Like, or else, what are you gonna do? Oh, my God. Thank you, Don. I've given me 20, please. You had, like, 15 in your bag. Please, give me, like, a bunch of Pokeballs. I beg you. Just give me a fuck ton, so I can sell them off and make all my money back. I want to be at 8 when I'm done. I'm here to sell like these. Holy God! Ah, I couldn't make it, but my God, dude. Thanks, Don. Thanks for the money. Yeah, I want to see how difficult this game is if I actually just play it normally without doing like the bullshit that I did before. Also, I feel like I need to train up this dumb shit. Give me a wild Pokemon. Come here. Let me fight someone. Got this damn Starly. Its level two ness is pissing me off. Raptor. 
You are not fighting this idiot. That's for damn sure. You know what? Actually sending off all my Pokeballs is a bad idea. What if I run into a fucking shiny down here? I don't have any Pokeballs. Can't catch it. Oh, look at that happy Tartarus. Leafquake was so happy coming out of that ball. New Stackle. I don't actually know when you learn moves. When you learn Absorb. Because that is the first, for some reason, the first grass type move that you learn. What level can I even catch you at? Ah, 16. Ah, you're actually not that bad to catch. Seno, the pig. Leafage. The hell? At level 6, you learn Leafage? Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Shinx. I don't need you. How did you level up? Oh, oh wow. Okay, Leafage. There you go. Proof is in the pudding, I guess. And my god, did it put in there. I need to buy some damn Pokeballs in case I run into shinies. It ain't gonna happen. We all know this. Also, when is there gonna be home support for this fucking game? I need to send over some fucking Pokemon. I'm about to say 10 Pokeballs. I probably actually should not have sold the Pokeballs that I got from Dawn. Those are the Pokeballs I should have kept. Me and my dumbassery. Time to grind for more Pokemon. This is the only, like, good part about this fucking game. I can just do that. Instead of having to just, like, rotate the fucking, uh, D-Path. But, yeah, I I'm actually, I I'm actually kind of mixed on the whole, uh, Pokemon, um, Scarlet and Violet. Because I think that the games will be potentially bad, but I don't know. Pokemon hasn't really given me too much faith. I know that I said that, like, Legends has boosted it up. But it's like, the garbage that came before it did not give me hope. And then Legends is good. But then, I don't know. They once again stated that Scar and the Fire won't have the national decks. Or just, uh, all the Pokemon will not be in the game. And it's like, but this is a Pokemon game. So, again, we're dealing with like just an incomplete game. No matter how you look at it. Unless every fucking Pokemon is coded into the damn game. And you can make whatever excuse you want, but yeah, it kind of needs to be said that it's scummy. Also, the issue here is the fact that Starly and Turtwig both live up at the same time, and it annoys me. That annoys me because it kind of goes against the way that I play this game. And also, I also hate it because there are Pokémon that I actually can never use. Like I, I played when I first played Sword. Um, I had like a Flapple on my team, and I could never use that Pokemon. For fuck's sake, you're level 4, why? I could never actually use that Pokemon, because it kept, it, it was my fastest growing Pokemon on my entire team. It was like, there was like a point where I had to put it in the box because it was 5 levels higher than my fucking starter, who was only 1 level higher than the rest of my team. That fucker grew so fast because of the experience always being on that I actually couldn't do anything about it. So I boxed the fucker for a long time just to give my other Pokemon some, like, leeway. Like, I put the, my other Pokemon, like, five levels higher than Flapple. Then I put Flapple back on my team. And then was able to have a comfortable time. But I barely used Flapple on my team to begin with. I only used him against important battles where I wanted to use him against. You know, maybe like rival battles, gym leaders, and uh, league. Outside of that, I boxed the motherfucker. Because that idiot would have been level 50 by the time my score bunny evolves to reboot. That's kind of the insanity that I was working with. Don't worry, Leafquake. You'll get it eventually. Probably should have turned off animations for this. Just need to get this stupid Starly up to level 5. Jesus, you're almost at level 5 already, my friend. You are growing so fast. You know, fuck it. We're going for it. Yeah. Now it doesn't matter anymore, because the, the idiot just needs one more level. Starly, can you learn wing attack or something like that? Because I kind of need that. Shinx, you better be low enough level so that my Raptor can murder you. Raptor, what is your nature, actually? Are you fucking... I'm gonna test this out. Kabam, bitch! Da. 
Nah. Kinda we do the same damage to each other. Shanks. Hold the phone here, you know Thundershock. Motherfucker, back in my day you didn't know Thundershock. Fuck's wrong with you? You did not know Thundershock back in the day. Also, from uh, I've heard a rumor that like uh, uh, Ilka wanted to make a different type of Pokemon game, a better type of Pokemon game, but apparently Jinichi Masuda was like no. Which I'm like, but why though? But then I'm also kind of thinking about it and I'm like, maybe it's because of the fact that he didn't want people to uh, talk about this game. What if he like made? What if he wanted to, this game to be garbage on purpose? So that people would talk about legends instead. If I was Ilka, I would have been like, excuse me, motherfucker, but you asked us to make the fucking game. What the hell is wrong with you? We're doing whatever the fuck we want. If you don't like it, find some other sorry-ass company. But we will talk about everything you said. You could be like, oh, blackmail him. Yeah. Yeah, I will blackmail the mother. Get that out of here. The Pokemon fandom... The Pokemon fan base deserve good games. They don't deserve the garbage that you keep putting out at them. I've been like that. Because I don't give a fuck. Well, you won't be able to work on the Pokemon game. Man, I can't call this a fucking Pokemon game. I should have fought that Crick. Cricketot should have been fought because Cricketot is shit. Man, I want chance at some free experience points because I think that dumb shit only knows bide. Also, I'm very busy with the mask. She completed the entirety of Kanto. Generation 1 is complete, and that's why I need some fucking support into Legends Arceus so I can evolve some idiots. I have a Scyther already, and I got like a. I mean, at the moment, I have like almost everyone ready. Generation 2 is. Really close to being done. Not there quite yet, but it, it's getting there. It's getting there. Fuck, I was supposed to look at the nature. That's why I went over there. But anyway, I'm getting really close to it. It's just like, there's like one issue that I have with Gen 2. And that's the fact that um, I need a Mistrevis. And I was planning on every Pokemon that evolves through like uh, the cross-gen evolutions. All those fuckers I was going to get in Pokemon... Um, I was gonna get all of them in um, Pokemon Silver, but then when I looked it up, it states there. Oh, thank you, Raptor. I thought you were gonna fuck it all up. However, it it states that it's like, oh yeah, hey, Mr. Evis? Yeah, that one's on Mount Silver. Just so you know. Don't mean to be a bearer of bad news, but. Sad enough, that idiot is on uh, Mount Silver. I was like, what? Made Mount Silver. Motherfucker, that's post game. I didn't need this. Jolly, eh? Ho <laughs> ho, you're gonna be a fast fucker, ain't you? You got nothing. Docile. I, I mean, it fits you. Not gonna lie. Oh, wait. Fucking swap moves around here. But yeah. By the way, this is not a remake. This is a upscaled remaster at best. It's a remaster at best. And an insult at worst. If you want to play Diamond and Pearl, you play this game. But if you want to go through Sinnoh, you play Platinum. Now, I get it. It might be difficult for you to play Platinum. But I would say, I'll say this. Play it on an emulator. Because Platinum costs a fuck ton of money. That ain't worth it. Just, just saying. Gotta be honest here. The money that Platinum is asked for isn't worth it. It's actually kind of funny because all like the 2D games kind of like went up in price. Like Generation 3, 4, and 5. Like those games like Emerald, Platinum, Hard Console, Silver, Black and White I think as well. Maybe even Black and White. They all went up in price. Can't you see the pattern here? It's because the 3D games became garbage. So the 2D games are boosting up in price. Nobody wants to fucking pay for a goddamn switch and buy games that aren't even worth the asking price 
when games from back in the day were better. But I would say buy it on an emulator. Uh, play it on an emulator. I'm always the kind of person who's like, just buy the fucking game. Like, if I would play a game on an emulator, I will... I'm gonna own it for real. I'm never gonna play a game on an emulator that I do not actually own. But I actually can't record, like GBA games and DS games and even 3DS games. I can't record that shit. I don't have a modified 3DS. If I did, I would have played it on the 3DS. I would have loved to do it actually, but I can't. I've heard GBA and well, Game Boy and DS games, I can't. Because there's no recording software. Because well, first of all, when the Game Boy fucking came out, even the Game Boy Advance, YouTube wasn't really a thing back then. So Let's Plays weren't really needed. I would have found it awesome if they actually found a way to just use the, uh, the, uh, fuck, the, uh, charge button, uh, the cable for charging in order to be able to get, like, video footage, up, but you can't do that shit. Like, you need to get, like, a modified DS, uh, 3DS or something like that. I mean, that way I could also record potentially DS games, maybe, but I don't fucking know. If I could, I would. I'm just saying right now, I will. I'll fucking do it. Don't you fucking test me. I'll do it. God fucking damn it, that intimidate. Yeah, but I would do it that. If I could record DS games as well. Then I just need to record some fucking GBA games on like an emulator. Except for like other stuff because I bought Pokemon Ranger on the Wii U. So I'm gonna play that on the fucking Wii U. I don't care what you say to me. That fucker playing on the Wii U. Uh, yo, uh, Starly, Raptor, my friend, my buddy, my pal, I need some answers from you immediately. When the hell do you learn wing attack? Nine! Ah! Need you to kind of get wing attack fast. What level are you now? Don't say six. Ah, seven. The potential for you to learn wing attack is grandiose. Pokeball in the back. I'm getting it. I don't care if I run into Wild Pokemon. I'll kill it. Here we are. I wasn't standing in the right spot, so it moved me over. Ah, damn it, dude. Some more. Hey, I got Starly, okay? I got Raptor and Leaf Quake. I'm good, in the I'm good to go. You know, it would be funny if Pokemon Home Support actually came and just transfer over the entire Sinnoh decks. Like all 151 Pokemon in the Sinnoh decks. Transfer all of them. See what she says. Oh my god, you got so many Pokemon. And then like, get the national decks. And then like, just transfer everyone. Talk to Professor Rowan immediately after getting the Pokedex. Talk to him. Oh, you completed the Pokedex. Here's the national decks. You don't even have a single edge. That would be funny. They're probably gonna put like a restriction on that where it's like, oh, you can't do that until you get like 10 badges, some shit like that. I don't know, maybe after you get your first badge, that's when you can use home. I thought like home didn't have any restrictions on it. I also hope you can actually put some damn poke in uh, Legends Arceus. I really don't want it to be like a Pokemon Go situation where Pokemon Go, you can't actually do that shit. Yeah, you fight me. You don't want this to become Pokemon Home situa uh, Pokemon Go situation where it's like you can take them out, but you can't put them in. Now we know home support is coming, kind of, with the confirmation that uh, Hisui and Zoroark is gonna be in Scarlet and Violet. Which, can we get a name for that region, please? I mean, by the time this video comes out, it's already confirmed because I'll start up. What's it with these damn Pokemon and knowing electric type moves? Raptor, you are garbage. You better get a level up and then some. Get two. Make me happy and get two. Are you fucking idiot? 67, eh? And that's when you're in the front side. When you're in the back, you get 30. Oh, no. I may actually have to... Uh, I may actually have to vacate the premises. Let me see here. I'm just gonna look this fucker up. I don't care. I'm looking this up. Well... Ah, shit. The only fucking attack they know is Charge Beam. What? 
All right, Raptor, we need to go back to the Poma Center because this is just embarrassing. It's so weird. By the way, um, in case you don't know, the uh, reason I named uh, Barrel is the reference to the Pokemon Adventures manga in which uh, Diamond has Turtwig and Pearl has Infernape. Uh, or Chimjar, I guess. That's where. That's why I named Just so you know, I, did re I do read the manga. I've read, I think, almost every chapter. Let me actually look this fucker up. Let me look this up for a quick second here. Give me a break here. Give me a little minute. Um, where are you? There you are. Pokemon. I've read all 26 chapters of the Pokemon Adventures manga Sword and Shield, and I've read the entirety of everything else, by the way. Just so you know. I don't mean to brag, but um, I have done that, so... Nine, 90? Ah, you won't even level up even if I gave... Wait. I actually kind of want to test something out. I'm curious about something. Third wake, I'm going to toss you in the box. We're going to do this battle twice, by the way. We're probably going to do this battle just because I want to test something out. Save before this fight and then fuck him up. Then restart the game. Alright, so I got like 67 experience points. These idiots are the same level. Oh man. Yeah, I've I read all these fucking uh, chapters. I think. Wait, did I actually read this one? Oh yeah, I did. The Deternatus uh, fucking image. My plan has been a remarkable success. I did like unleash. Like the, uh, he just, like, uh, Chairman Rose just unleashed, um, the, uh, oh, come on, dude, really? Yeah, raise a special attack, I don't care. You better give me, like, 100 experience points, dude. Right, I'm restarting the game. If I see 67, I'm restarting the game. Because that means that the experience share does fuck all. I got less. I got less. Did I save before actually doing this? Oh no, wait a minute. I don't know if I saved. I think I saved. Oh please, Shining Pearl, let me have saved. Please. I'm scared now. Please. Is it this fucking loading? Come on, dude. Oh, I think actually I did. I think I did save. I, I now get confused because normally I like when I... Oh, thank God. I, I got less experience points. I got 60. How did that bitch give me 67? You give me 60. Do I get more experience? The more Pokemon I... If I have a full team of 6, I get more experience? I thought I would get less. Yeah, also you can blame uh, Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon uh, Rescue Team Deluxe because I was like, oh fuck, I don't actually have that game and I really enjoyed the original, so... For me buying this game. And also the fact that the damn update for Pokemon... Because uh, I was actually not planning on doing this. But also, I'm not gonna go through this game alone. The fuck's wrong with you? I'm not gonna go through this game alone, I don't care who you are. This game is a slog to get through, it's not platinum. Oh, come on dude, what the hell? This thing has like 1 HP. By the way, they should have made this a fucking platinum uh, remake. I'm just saying. Dude. Dude, ears roof. No matter what, you, the first Pokemon gets the same amount of experience points. It does not get cut. It gets 60 no matter what. Dude. So dumb. And why are you so dumb? Ugh. 
This is like the dumbest game. Like, no matter what, this game fucking pisses me off. Oh, they did change the TMs. Now this is work up. What, what do you mean work up? This is supposed to be t hidden power, man. It's actually kind of funny because some moves don't exist anymore. However, they existed back then, so it's not faithful at all. Shit. That's what it is. This game doesn't even deserve a real, like, let's play. I'm just doing this for the fuck of it all. Because I actually can't go through this game alone. But yeah, but I'm reading a Shawn Shield manga, which is actually pretty enjoyable re read. I'm not even gonna lie, these Pokemon mangas are fantastic. If you haven't, go read them now. Read the Pokemon Avengers manga, it's actually awesome. People will be like, oh no, but they kill Pokemon. That's only in uh, Red and Blue chapters, technically. Like, that doesn't happen anymore. Nowadays, it doesn't actually happen. But, like, it doesn't happen. Not a single fucking Pokemon gets killed in, like, the Avengers manga. It's it's a bit darker, but, like, it takes the Pokemon story a bit more serious. However, I don't know if there's any way to actually make the story of Sword and Shield good. Because it's still the dumbest shit I've heard in my life. You know, I was like, oh yeah, hey. Because of the fact that in a thousand of thousand years from now, um, the Pokemon, uh, like, without, like, power, we have to, like, cause, like, a fucking destruction of the world now. It's like, wait, but that's a thousand years from now. Why can't you just wait a day? Leon is like, no, it has to be now. Sorry, I'm uh, kind of, like, kicking this, sh like, look. I know this um, epic battle's about to start. It's like, Leon was like, dude, I'm gonna help you tomorrow, okay? Let me have this awesome battle against the main character. Then I'll help you. He's like, no, it must happen today. It's like, the dude needs to wait. Uh, I forgot. This book is just stupid as well. Yeah, you better stay away. I'm gonna go up here and grind a bit. Not in the grass, though. I'm gonna grind against these trainers. The paralysis heal. I actually kind of want to put that. Uh, no! This is what we have to get travel through. I'm going to do a full completion of the game, kind of. And, um... Not entirely, though, but mostly, yeah. Like, I'm going to do everything I did in Burning Diamond just faster. And also not really taking as long, because I don't need to uh, be stupid about everything. Don't have to wait for everything. I can just do whatever I want. I don't know. I mean, I don't have to catch like 20 Pokemon. That's what I mean. Wow, my brain is just being dumb today. But um, like more, more than usual. What I mean is the fact that I just uh, also I hope that like can I get into the building or do I have to wait until I got past the first gym? Because that means that tomorrow I also have to record this game a little bit. Oh, I'll do it tonight. Just for shits and giggles. so weird seeing Turtwig use Leafitch because I have never seen Turtwig use that move because I have never used Turtwig. Ah. That may not be entirely true, but I don't remember if I actually used Turtwig in battle in Generation uh, in Legends. So it could yes. Fuck you want. What do you want, phone? It's not, it's not WhatsApp, because I don't have any friends. Ah, oh, it's Twitter. How oh, nice of Twitter to be able to push my dick in. Anyway. You, fight me now. Daddy gave you Pokemon. Well, I'm going to kick the shit out of your dad's Pokemon. And I'm going to enjoy it, too. Your dad hates you, kid. Oh man, I got five more minutes, dude. I hope I, when I go back at the Jubilee, I can just access that so I can just kind of like put this game on hold for a long time. Actually, the funny part is I still need to beat those other games. But I'm probably going to record this game like, I don't know, like once a week or some shit like that. Just get some stuff done. No. Leafquake needs way more experience points than the start of having my... So, uh, in my... In my... In my... On me belt, probably. Don't have him in my backpack. Fire gun on my belt. 
This is embarrassing, Turtwake. Leafquake, what are you doing with your life? Get it! Do you actually learn a good grass type move, or do I actually still have to give your dumbass root gamer? Oh, B. Why? Um. I'm just looking this up. I can look this shit up. Earthquake when you up. Haha, <laughs> Giga Train, Mega Train, fucking Leaf Storm. Oh, I could potentially give you Leaf Storm, because, like, I think my Infernape was, like, really close to getting fair. Actually, no, I don't think it was. Oh, Tatera, you look so beastly. I love you, but I can't. Yo, yo. Yeah, it's 68. But, like, Tortera learns that's 57. I have no idea. I need to look this up right. Give me a minute there, okay? Get the fuck up. What level was my Infernape? My brain damn. Because, like, the, this, these idiots are going to be, like, 20 levels higher or some shit like that. Uh, the ultimate risk. 57, dude. Dude, my, my Infernape was 58, and I used like 10... I used like 12 Pokemon in that fucking game. 13, if you want to count the Alga. By the way, no, I'm not gonna use Palkia in this fucking game. I'm gonna actually murder this stupid shit. Fight me. I'm actually gonna kill him, because I don't give a fuck. Palkia dies tonight. Oh, not tonight, because I'm not doing it today, but... In the future, Palkia will die. Dialga... Dialga... Dialgia, what? The fuck is a Dialgia? Dialga I caught, because also it's my favorite legendary Pokemon of all time, so... Kinda speaks for itself, but... Palkia ain't, so... Palkia's gonna die. And also, I actually didn't give a fuck. Okay, so I lost my keen eye, and now I can't fall asleep. Which is actually kind of weird, because why does a move not allow me to fall asleep? I think the only thing that that stupid move blocks is rest, because you can't be put to sleep. Even though it could be awesome if you could still heal from rest. That would be funny as fuck, actually, if you could heal from rest. That would be actually funny if you could heal from rest, but you don't get the fucking side effect of falling asleep. It's like, thanks man, I can't fall asleep. Alright. Damn you, stupid clown. Why are you still here? Alright. Do believe, uh, oh shit. Where did that second L come from? No, not village, city. I didn't put two L's in there. Anyway, um... Okay, uh, Pokech campaign crown blocks the main doors till the player defeats Team Galactic Grunts. Ah, well, I need to get the first badge and beat the Grunts that are up here before I can actually fuck. I don't have enough time to do that today. I mean, in the next hour, maybe I might be able to get myself my first badge and kick the crap out of Team Galactic, so that's not really gonna be them big. Yeah, but I'm basically gonna kind of like uh, not really give a fuck about this game. I'm just doing this just to test out the level I would be as I had a full team of six. And if I still kind of like fought everyone in the game. Because that's kind of what I'm curious about. Alright, time to fuck up Barry and then end it. Well, no better way to end this video than to kill Barry. Like at this point in the game, he's still technically kind of like good. This dude's got a... I hate the fact he also has starting. Dude has a Starly, and like uh, the starter. It's like okay, good, but then like later on, it just becomes a joke. It's like oh, go my level 38 Starly. It's like hey, 38, eh? Yeah, it raises my attack and special attack once. Ooh, he's a big boy. I remember in like Generation One that this move, um. Increased special attack and special defense. And I think two might be enough to want to shot you. I was also gonna attack you because I didn't want to lose my power up. Poo boy! Poo boy! Don't get cocky, kid. Did you just call me a kid? I'll kick your ass. What happened to my speed, dude? 
I thought in the beginning I was faster than you. Don't worry about it, Turtwig. We can finish this off. You and me, my friend. I need a singular other Pokemon. This star doesn't even need to come out. Turtwig can solo you. Ah, Chimmy! Good old Chimmy, the Chimster. You better not. Turtwig, Leafquake, you may die in this fight, but... I don't need that the line of dialogue. Don't you fucking Do you even know Ember? I'm curious. You know Ember, but like do you know Ember? Let me look at Barre. Bye. Fuck's sake, why do you always get caught on this fucking chair, dude? What the hell's wrong with you? Like, go over here. Okay? Stay. Um let me see here. You don't actually know. The chim. Good old. Look, I had Chimmy myself. Okay, I know the fucker learns Ember at 6. Can't joke on me on that one. What do you mean it doesn't know a singular fire type move? How did you even say no to that? How did you even not learn that? This upsets me beyond uh, belief. Anyway, we got this far in one video. I think when I played this the first time, I was still in fucking uh, Sanjum Town by the time I got to this point. Making headway. Yeah, we, I will try and fight every trainer in the game, or at least every trainer I know of, because I'm not really going to look it up, but every trainer I know of, I will fight in this game. Just to see what level I will be by the time I reach the league. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. I actually kind of need to record this tomorrow as well, so I can just get in here and get the fucking mystery gift so I can get my shit done. So yeah, stop this shit. Let me save the game. 57 minutes. What, the, what were the other four minutes about then? Anyway. Wait. Seven. What were the other seven minutes about? Anyway, so, thank you all so very much for watching Pokemon Shining Pearl Part 1. When we come back next time, we'll be, uh, you know, just continuing on, trying to get our hands on Mystery Gift. And then after that, I'll probably take a break from this game for a long, for a bit. For myself. Just so I can uh, finish up Legends Arceus, maybe bring back some older stuff like God of War that I still need to finish. Ratchet and Clank, Assassin's Creed, Pokemon Shadows also need to go on. Um, I have actually a more clear vision now of what I'm going to do with it, so that's going to be something special. I actually have a, an entire vision on which games I'm going to play in which order. Teams, however, the moment that I catch it, it's locked, but I haven't caught it yet, so I'm still f fucking around with it. But anyway, so yeah, thank you so very much for watching. We'll come next time. We will be uh, going over to Warburg City, probably getting our first badge, going back and getting Mystery Gift and getting that... Uh, shaman uh, thing the oaks letter but with that being said hope you guys have enjoyed and if you did please like and subscribe if you're new if you haven't done so already turn on notifications and as always state of more bye